All right, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing a beer from the River Horse Brewing Company, and they're out of Ewing, New Jersey, and this is their Jersey Mist. So they're calling this a double IPA that is brewed with lemon and lime juice. Underneath it, it says an India Pale Ale. Well, it's a double India Pale Ale that is brewed with Motu Weka, lemon drop, and citra hops, and also fresh lemon and Persian lime juice. Comes in at 9.3% alcohol by volume, no IBUs listed, and at the time of review, I don't know exactly how old this can is, but this can was given to me by a friend of mine and a former beer tuber, Joe, over at the now defunct NEPA um, beer reviews. So uh, at the 2019 um, East Coast Beer Tuber Palooza that was hosted by Matt over at Massive Beer Reviews, um, Joe actually came to the, the get together and I've met him before when I hung out with Matt Really cool dude. And uh, he now works at River Horse as a brewer. So he brought a bunch of different River Horse beers, including a bunch of cans that were basically underfilled. So this, you know, might be, you know, instead of 16 ounces, might be 14 or 15. And uh, he brought a bunch of them just for us to drink. And he sent me home with three or four. I, I forgot, I'm pretty sure four. I think it was four uh, total um, cans and bottles. And this was one of the four. And I totally appreciate it, Joe. Like it, it was really cool. Um, I had a big cooler and a bunch of people threw stuff in and he threw a lot of stuff in. So thank you very much. I don't think Joe will ever actually watch this review. I hope he does uh, because I don't think he really watches beer tube anymore. Uh, but yeah, really awesome dude. And uh, I, full disclosure, I had this one. I had like two or three ounces of it. We split a can um, in between reviews and stuff and I really enjoyed it. So uh, getting a chance to drink this one um, on a fresh palate, you know, Know, doing a complete review of it, I'm into it. And it just, it sounds good. I mean, double IPA with lemon and lime juice, Motu Weka, lemon drop, and citra hops. Yeah, I'd imagine at the time of review, this this is probably no older than six months or uh, six weeks old. Pretty damn fresh, I'd say. So let's crack this open, get it into glass, see what we got going on. So 9.3, it's pretty big, pretty big beer. Yeah, so this has haze to it, but this is a little bit darker, maybe from those, uh, those juices, whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, well, we're going to see, though. So, yeah, this has, like, this really dark, like, more like a straight-up honey color. I would say honey orange. It's more like honey color, kind of, you know, approaching, like, a uh, deep, like, copper, amber. Not, not, I guess, not really amber, more copper, like a light, rusty brown look. I had about a half finger to now, like, a third of a finger of a off-white head. Relatively creamy looking. But, yeah, pretty murky and uh, turbid. Looks nice. Let's get a nose on it. Yeah, so those, that lemon and lime juice coming to the forefront. And the Motuaka too. Like, I'm getting, I'm getting, like, like, passion fruit and gooseberry and, and things like that. I'm getting a little bit of the malt base at 9.3%. It's a big beer. I'm getting a little bit of, like, bready touch of caramel in this one. That lemon and lime juice is very prominent, though. It, it's almost like freshly squeezed lemon and lime juice. I don't know what the difference between regular lime juice is and Persian lime juice, but uh, yeah, it, smell, it smells like a lemon-lime beer of some sort. A little bit of other hot four characteristics, more citrus, a little bit of like a navel orange, um, ruby red grapefruit, sweeter citrus tones. It smells pretty good, honestly. This smells refreshing. At 9.3%, there's no astringency on the nose from the alcohol. It just smells like... It should be refreshing, even though it's a big beer. So let's get into it. Cheers, Joe, and cheers to everyone as well. There's a nice acidic, acidic punch on the back of the throat from the, those juices. So on the palate, I can tell this is a bigger beer. Not, I should take that back, not directly on the palate. I, I taste a little bit of alcohol sugar cheese, mostly in the chest. There is a warming like instantly in the chest. So I can tell this is over 8%. I know this is a double IP, maybe approaching triple IP. So it's not really hiding the alcohol, but the flavor is there. Pretty nice. So right from hit with a nice mix of the sweeter malt components. There's a little bit of caramel, a little bit of breadiness, like a biscuity thing going on. And then I'm getting a lot of like fresh like fleshy uh, fruits as well. A little bit of melon, passion fruit, um, peach, apricot, stone fruit thing. But as soon as mid palate hits, that's where this pretty big dryness and acidic uh, just punch comes from the lemon and lime. You can tell there's lemon and lime in here or some kind of citrus juice. I would guess lemon or lime, not probably both if I was doing it blind, but it hits mid palate, carries on through. This finish is quite dry, pretty acidic, not a lot of residual sweetness. This doesn't have much bitterness though.
now as I'm drinking on it, my palate's kind of um, getting used to the, to, you know, kind of adapting to the, to the, 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 the boldness of the beer, like the, the alcohol uh, punch that it has. So eat with each subsequent, uh, subsequent uh, sip, there's just not a lot of alcohol building up. So it's not, it's not hard to drink. The first two uh, sips were like a shock to the palate, but right now it's drinking very, very easily. Body on this one's like medium to higher side of medium body. So it is thin at 9.3%. I will mention this in every review that I do double IP or triple IP that's thin. I don't care if I'm drinking a hop forward beer that's over 8% and it drinks like medium or lower. I'm okay with it. I don't want it to be watery, but I also don't want it to have a huge body. That's just personal preference. I know some people out there might want it to be huge and syrupy. For me, I'm cool with like a medium body when it comes to like a 9-10% uh, hop forward beer. Mouthfeel, there is carbonation. It has a nice soft and smoothness, not really creamy. Uh, they're not using lactose or anything here. Probably a bunch of like flaked wheats and uh, flaked wheat and uh, like, you know, flaked oats and stuff like that. As I drink on it more, it, it's just becoming more refreshing. One thing for me though, it is a bit dry, uh, maybe a bit too dry for my liking. Maybe not for you, maybe you'll be able to handle it fine for me. I'm not a huge fan of dry beers, but this is starting to you know, dry out my palate quite a bit. Each sip I take, it seems like I'm losing more and more saliva in my mouth. But yeah, it's it's a nice beer. Um, it's kind of similar to what I thought when I had it, you know, just sitting there drinking it at the, um, the get together. It's nothing for me that's mind blowing, but for a 9.3% double IPA with lemon and lime juice, pretty much getting everything here. Uh, you're getting the 9.3%, although as I keep on drinking on it, it's drinking a little bit less, maybe like eight and a half. I'm getting, definitely getting the lemon and lime juice, and I'm getting a decent amount of the hop character. Um, yeah, it's it's a good beer. It's a damn good beer. I, I, I'm surprised at how much I'm enjoying it, knowing that I can taste a lot of the alcohol. Well, not a lot of it, but a decent amount of the alcohol. I'm getting a warming and stuff, and it somehow comes off as refreshing still from the lemon, the lemon and lime juice. Yeah, it's not too acidic. Like I was talking about how acidic it was. As again, my, my palate is adapting to what's going on here. Um, the acidity is not really big. It's just slight in the back of the throat. I don't think by the time I drink this can, I'm going to have any like heartburn or acid reflux or anything. I think it's not that acidic. It just has a slight touch of it. So yeah, overall, I, it's a good beer. Um, not much more to say about it. So Jersey Mist from River Horse. I'm going to give that a low four out of five. I'm going to go 3.9 out of five. I think it's a well-made, well-brewed, well-executed beer. Uh, you know, not necessarily my favorite uh, double IPA, like as far as like lemon and lime beers just aren't my favorite in general. Like I like them, but it's, you know, it's not one of my favorite. But I think this is really well executed. And um, yeah, it's it's a pretty damn good beer. So thanks to uh, Joe for hooking me up with this one. I can't wait to get into the other ones. Uh, price and availability. If, if you watch this by chance, Joe, I'd love to know the price point on this one and the availability. I'd imagine if I had to guess, I'd say probably... $16 a four pack, knowing River Horse and knowing just kind of the game nowadays, I'd imagine at least four, at least $16 a four pack. So you're looking at like $4 a can. Availability, I know River Horse gets de decent distribution. We actually see them here in the Western New York area occasionally, a couple places, you know, stock their stuff. And um, uh, funny story, I'll, I'll just tell it real quick. Uh, when I first got into craft beer and, and I was looking for beers that weren't bitter and beers that just sounded good, their oatmeal milk stout, I think it was, I forgot the exact name of it, was one of the first beers that was like on my uh, bucket list or uh, one of my like need beers. Like I need that beer. It was on my want list. And I didn't get a chance to try it until like, I don't know, three or four years after I made that list. Uh, but when I did try it, it was a really damn good beer. But um, yeah, I, I just find it funny that that was like one of the first beers I wanted to try. And now here I am 10 years later and, uh, you know, I'm getting a chance to try a bunch of different beers straight from the brewery from somebody who works there. So crazy, absolutely crazy. But once again, thanks to Joe and thanks to everybody for stopping by. Another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. If you've had this one before, let me know your opinions on it. I'd be curious to hear other people's feedback. Really good beer. And I can't wait to drink the rest of uh, River Horse's beers because I've had only a couple things from them, but I've enjoyed the for the most part what they do. So anyway, till the next one. Cheers.